The Korean movie series Squid Game has become the best movie premiere in the history of Netflix movie premiere with 111 million fans and still counting, surpassing Bridgerton's 83 million views. The Squid Game creator Huang wrote this show in 2008-2009 thereabout but was rejected by several studios for over seven years. I find his struggle in getting this movie done very interesting. If you are a filmmaker, I would recommend you read his Wikipedia biography. Since this channel is a tech and filmmaking channel, I'm not going to talk about any other thing other than the filmmaking aspect of this movie. Before I talk about the cameras used in this series, let's talk about the BMPC camera used in this film. As it stands now, Netflix still has a problem approving the BMPC for filming an entire project due to the lack of dedicated time code input and certain minor problems which I will talk about in my next video. The BMPC camera is actually not considered a production camera for producers with huge checkbooks. You should know what you are about the moment you decide on shooting a film you will be selling at some point. Quality is crucial as far as better story is concerned. Don't ignore that. But if you are to work for Netflix, then it shouldn't be a debate which camera to use. They have approved cameras for their project. Just go with it. Sodobeg shot Netflix original high flying bed on an iPhone. There's also been instances where people have filmed with unauthorized cameras which Netflix have approved because they somehow loved the story of the film and the quality it came with. Talking of approved and non-approved cameras used for Netflix films, I have left a link in the description below that talks about all Netflix camera requirements. If you've loved this video so far, then a sub to the channel will be very much appreciated. There is a category called non-approved cameras, which the BMPC falls under. Now, these non-approved cameras can be used only in certain circumstances, and I read. Limited use of non-approved cameras is allowed in certain circumstances. Example, crash, POV, drone, underwater, pan tilt zoom, robocam, ETC. In all cases, such cameras must be explicitly approved by Netflix for a specific project. Use of a non-approved camera on a project does not constitute blanket approval of that camera for other projects. So clearly, the BMPC definitely could have a shot in the Squid Game movie series, which you aren't going to see because of accurate color matching. Doing away with the BMPC bit, let's not forget Sodobeg shot a Netflix original series, High Flying Bed, on an iPhone. He deserves a minute silence. No, he doesn't. The top of the list camera used in most Netflix series is the Ari Alexa LF. It's a beautiful piece of design. I was surprised at the quality difference between a standard Alexa and the LF. If you're actually studying it on a big screen, it's remarkable the difference in quality and the, the roll off and the subtlety of the tones in it. Yeah, that was the thing that struck me most actually. Now, let's talk about the main camera used in making the Squid Game movie series. If there's any camera in the world confident enough to capture and broadcast a low angle shot of a gigantic ass covering a complete screen, then it's certainly going to be no other than a red monstro. The Squid Game was shot on a red monstro. According to their IMDb page, they used Ari Master Prime lenses. The thing is, Ari Master Primes don't cover red monstro. Red Monstro is a full frame sensor and Master Primes are made for Super 35 or maybe APS-C. So you would have to go maybe 50mm or up to cover a full frame sensor. Now according to Huang, he spent two months scripting episodes 1 and 2. Now watching episodes 1 and 2, we can all attest to the fact that it made a lot of sense. Story advancement in this series was great because you don't get bored quickly in the early stages of the film. And it's very important because most writers aren't able to achieve this most often. If a movie opening is very bad, it will certainly put you to sleep, only to open your eyes to see someone with big lips sipping on your coffee. That's not how an opening episode should treat you. While CGI is used to create and complete certain images, many of the sets and backdrops seen in Squid Games were fabricated just for the show. It's impressive because 
most of the sets we saw could have easily been created by CGI, but they still went ahead and built them all from scratch. The CGI behind Tag of War was what I really wanted to get into. It might have seemed very easy to film, but that wasn't the case. That's a difficult task to write about. Looking at the shots, angles, and set design, we can confirm do practical, yet the CGI behind it was very deep and strong. It was a large space built by their team from scratch. CGI was afterwards added to make this particular stage horrifying to the viewers. The art behind this movie is very well thought of. The colorful and unsettling sets and staircases we see in the Squid Game are actually inspired by a famous piece of art called Relativity. The original image came from the mind of a Dutch artist named MC Escher. The original photo includes seven stairways which had different gravitational look to it from the way it is arranged. One of the coolest examples of a non-CGI shot is the very first game. They had over 400 performers on set playing the game. Oftentimes in scenes like these, few movie characters get mixed up with lots of CGI characters. But since the Squid Game set itself was so enormous, they were able to accommodate a massive casting crew. The whole series is filmed in one city. Since there wasn't any traveling to be done, the team had just enough budget to spend on building better sets and casting more crew. In all, I would say cinematography was great, except for this part. Sound was awesome. I like all the camera technique used in this series, and a very beautiful story, which kept me in my seat throughout the entire season 1 of this show. If you loved this video, a sub to the channel will be very much appreciated. See you in my next video.